Taking good care of your body offers many rewards. Exercise really is an amazing health medicine. What do you gain for recreational, aerobic, and strength exercise? Daily recreational exercise has a positive effect on the risk of premature death in patients with coronary disease and diabetes, has a positive effect on the risk of coronary disease, dementia, and depression, decreases the risk of diabetes, has a positive effect on the risk factors for chronic diseases, specifically blood pressure and LDL cholesterol for coronary diseases, weight and insulin sensitivity for diabetes, and cognitive deterioration for dementia, Alzheimer's, and depressive symptoms. Decreases the risk of cancer, COPD, and arthrosis. Reduces the risk of injuries. Reduces the risk of overweight and obesity. Provides more energy and makes us sleep better. Weekly aerobic exercise lowers body weight. Reduces the risk of overweight and obesity. Lowers blood pressure. Improves insulin sensitivity. Decreases fat mass and waist circumference. Lowers the risk of heart attack and heart failure. Lowers the risk of stroke. Improves our fitness. Reduces the risk of injuries. Reduces the risk of diabetes. Weekly strength training. Increases bone quality and reduces the risk of bone fractures. Lowers blood pressure. Improves insulin sensitivity. Improves our walking speed. Increases muscular strength reduces the risk of loss of coordination and balance, reduces the risk of falling, reduces the risk of injuries, increases lean body mass, lowers the risk of overweight and obesity, lowers the risk of diabetes, reduces the chance of the yo-yo effect, and increases the production of myokines. Myokines are hormone-like substances that are secreted during muscular effort. They are involved in metabolic changes and help in the distribution of fats that are used as fuel during exercise. They help regulate our blood sugar. They kill cancer cells. They help with tissue regeneration and tissue repair. And they strengthen the immune system through immunomodulation. This way, the muscles kind of function as a type of apothecary for the body. The combination of daily recreational activities and weekly aerobic and muscle strengthening exercise is also medicine for our brain. It stimulates the production and maintenance of white brain matter, which develops during the first 30 years of our lives and degenerates from then on. This white brain matter is responsible for the communication between the brain and our body, and therefore crucial for proper performance. Its deterioration could be slowed down by an increased blood circulation that is realized by, you guessed it, recreational, aerobic, and muscle strengthening exercise. The combination of recreational exercise at least once during every part of the day and weekly aerobic and muscle strengthening exercise is also medicine for our heart. Our heart pumps 100,000 times a day. A good blood flow continuously transports nutrients and oxygen through our body, keeping the heart, blood vessels, organs, and our tissue in good shape. A blood flow that is accelerated through physical activity, exercise, and strength training will increase your heart rate and facilitate the production of nitric oxide in our blood vessels. Nitric oxide dilates blood vessels, lowers the risk of vascular constriction, results in less blood clotting, less cholesterol plaque, less adhesion to the blood vessel walls, and less inflammatory cells. In the next chapter, we'll look at the most effective ways to stay active.